What's up, everyone? Today, I'm showing you how to make bubbling bath salts. This is a very easy bath project with a simple recipe. And the bath salts are absolutely stunning. Check out the description for the recipe, important information, updates, and the supply list. You don't have to follow the recipe exactly to get great results. You can add up to 30 milliliters of liquid. I added 20 milliliters of fragrance oil. Mix well, make sure everything's incorporated. Add two cups of Epsom salt and mix it thoroughly. Coat the salts well and make sure the powder is evenly distributed. Lay the salts flat to dry. After 24 hours, the salt should be dry, free flowing, and should pour easily. This recipe has a lot of powder versus salt. This gives the salt extra bubble power and it allows for extra fragrance, but it's right on the edge of being too much. If you see any clumping or if it feels too powdery, add additional salt. I divided the salt and added color powder to each. For the color powder tutorial, click the information icon. I also added a bit of mica and eco glitter as well. I use tall containers to show off the layers. They will be linked in the description. Pack each layer at an angle for diagonal layers. Make sure to fill the container all the way so the layers remain in place. I added bright green on top to make the colors pop a bit more. Then of course I added extra. I can't ever just make a simple project. Anyway, toppings make it more special and it also ties in the theme. But I am absolutely kicking myself right now. I had about 50 mermaid tail soaps left over from the truffles tutorial and threw them away. They would have been perfect for this. Last, I made some labels to go on top. For the labels tutorial, click the information icon. All in all, I think they came out gorgeous.
My last house had amazing water pressure, but sadly, my new house does not. This makes a huge difference in the amount of bubbles that you get. The salts still made a decent bubble bath, and afterwards, and afterwards, afterward, after, after the water was absolutely stunning. I spent about 90 minutes taking pictures for the thumbnail, so I'm sharing some of the best ones. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, comment, and subscribe. Coco.